Hello, this is Chad with Happy Hen House. Wanted to go over the quick setup of our Chick Safe controller and auto locking door. Uh, once you get everything set up, mounted, screws in, uh, batteries in, we're gonna attach the string to the to the eyelet. Uh, verify that your door is loose. There's play. The rails are not too tight. This is very important, especially as you know temperatures change, things swell, and sometimes wood warps. So we want to have play. Now, to set up the controller, it's actually really easy. And it, this is where we set up the current time. So it pops on, this is a home screen. We hit one time, we set the hour. Hit it again, we set the minute. All right, now we're gonna set the opening. So this is the opening height. You see the, the bar graph here is going up. So that means that's when to set the open height. We're just going to push and hold that until we like where it's at. And that's it. Now that's set. We hit the button again. Or, or number two, uh, down. So we're going to just press and hold until it gets down. We want to see the eyelet disappear, the eyelet shaft disappear down into there all the way. I'm going to leave just a little bit of slack also. So now what we're looking for is we want to make sure the pins that, are, that come out of the bottom of the door are actually fully engaged. And that happens when this is let down. This allows the pins to come out and now we can see the door is locked. We can't open it. By prying. So that's it for the bottom height. Let's go on through. So number three, we're going to set it. We can do uh, light mode. We can do timer, and we can have it on manual only, where you just want to open it or close it by hand. We're going to go with light. Now this is where we set the opening lumens. So this is the light level that it needs to get to before it will open. 75 is the lowest, it goes up from there. Right now you can see we're not in a, a super sunny spot, it's actually shaded and it's at 93. So if we look at that, you know, as we cover with our thumb, you think, oh, it's gonna go zero, but it doesn't. So if we cover with a shirt, it goes down to 30. Just the thumb goes to 82. So using your finger doesn't uh, work when you're trying to block the light. So I'm gonna leave it at 75. We're gonna push the button again. Number four, this is to set the closing. You see there by the bar graph. We're gonna leave that on light also. And this is the level. I have it at 10. So when it drops below 10, when the lumens drop below 10, it's gonna close. So as you saw, we put our shirt over it it dropped to 30 so you can see it's got to be really dark for it to drop below 10 that's a good thing you can go up from there you can go quite a bit up but uh, what we don't want to do is close the door too early so and that's it we save and it's set up now this controller will take four minutes before it will actually raise. So the light level has to be above the set point for four minutes before the door will raise. So if you walk away from this right now, four minutes later, the door is going to come up. If you're, if you're interested in opening it right now, um, you have something to do or get in there, you can just press and, so we'll press and that wants to open or wake up the screen and press and hold for one second and now it'll open. And this is just our manual way to open. So at any time that the controller is in automatic mode, that means it's been sitting, it's been you know doing its thing. You haven't you haven't got in the menu. You can walk up at any time and open or close it by 
doing this. Now once it's open, if you wanted to close it, close. Now keep in mind that it will go back into automatic mode after four minutes. If you want it to close and stay closed, then you need to go in and change the open and closing from light to manual. And that's the only way to keep it closed. And uh, say if you were if you were going out of town for the evening or something. But anyways, that's just a um, quick setup. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please reach out if you have any questions. We're happy to help.